Hi, this is Ross with DIY on the house. I've been a plumber for over 27 years and people ask, what filters should I use for my whole house water system? In today's video, I'll give you tips on how to select one. So stay tuned and watch. Hi everyone, this is Ross with DIY on the house and this is the Simpure CTO water filter. Simpure sent us a four inch water filter housing, a 1045 unit, and they also sent us a filter to give it a try out in it. This is the 1045 CTO filter that they sent us. It's an activated carbon filter. Uh, it's made from coconut wire or coconut shell. It also has a mesh outside, which is food grade quality. It removes chlorine, taste, odors, and VOCs. Uh, I have a lot of my customers, I'm a plumber for 27 years, uh, that I always suggest if they live on a city or municipality system to use a carbon-based filter. And that's to remove any of the uh, chlorine that's in the water, any of the odors as well, uh, will be reduced as well. But I'm not a big fan of chlorine and any way to go ahead and remove that from the water and get rid of it is a good thing. Uh, it is also it's something that's mandatory for the city system uh, for to uh, sanitize their main lines. But once it gets in the house, I, I just don't feel a need for it, and that's why I always suggest using a carbon filter. So this is a standard 10-inch filter that you'll find on large sumps with the 10-inch by 4.5 sump. I'm going to go ahead and replace this, show you how simple it is to pop the old one out, pop a new one in, and we'll get uh, that changed out right now. Okay, so here we have our 1045 Simpure water filter housing. Uh, Simpure sent us this housing to try out. My opinion, this is a great quality filter housing. It has brass inserts on the input and the output to make sure you have a good solid attachment. They did a great job on this housing. Everything is solid, nice and thick. The uh, sump and the system is all food grade quality, so you don't have to worry about any contaminants getting into your water system from the housing itself. You do want to make sure that when you have a system and you're looking for it, make sure that is a priority. All right, so as far as replacing the filter, on this one, I've, I'm just going to re turn off the input water if you're on a well or on your house and you don't have a valve on the output, you'll go ahead and just drain the water through a tap down to zero. And once that's done, you can replace the filter. Okay, so on this one, we're going to go ahead and shut off the outgoing valve. I'm going to hit the red button. I'm going to get a little spurt of air from the pressure that's remaining inside the sump itself. And then I can go ahead and replace the uh, filter. So just to let you know, if you do have any pressure on the system itself during while you're changing it, it's going to make it extremely hard to take the sump off. So pushing the red button, making sure that there is no pressure left, is, is, uh, will ensure you that it's an easy change out. So once we do that, we're going to take our filter wrench. I'm going to give that a little bit of a turn. Loosen that housing. And I'm just going to spin that off. So we have our old filter in here. We're going to discard that. And then we're going to clean out the housing itself. Uh, spray it, wipe it down, make sure there's any, any contaminants left inside there as far as dirt, silt, uh, whatever. Just make sure you start off with a clean system. We're going to take our carbon filter. I'm just going to remove the plastic cellophane off that. Now on this, there is no up and down. So if you get it upside down or if you think, feel that that matters, don't worry about it. It's, it's going to be fine. So we're going to take our sump. We're going to insert that in there. And when we insert it, we want to make sure that uh, it's sitting just a hair under level to level. Uh, there is a peg in the bottom of the sump itself that aligns that. So once that's done, we're going to go ahead and bring that up and in and spin that on the head. Okay, and then once that gets to a certain point, you can't turn it anymore. We're gonna take our wrench and just give it a little bit more of a nudge, make sure those O-rings all seat in and that you don't have any, any leaks going on. All right, so at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and just bring my water pressure in. I'm gonna slowly turn it on and you'll hear it filling and you'll push the red button on the top. That'll bring up any air that's in the sump itself and get it back to full. We're gonna go ahead and bring our valve up and we're gonna slowly turn on the outgoing water valve uh, if you have one. Once that's done, you're all good to go. Check for leaks. If you have any leaks, shut it back down and 
um, either you may not have it tight enough or there may have gotten a little debris or something in the o-ring itself so you want to make sure that's all taken care of and you have a nice good seal all right we want to thank uh simpure for sending us a system and the filter as well and uh, we just truly appreciate uh, uh, collaborating with them and uh, we thanks for watching the video